What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Big Boy Fashion on TV. And tonight, we'll go my WWE SmackDown review and highlights. So, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys please hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications to get notified when I premiere a brand new video or go live on YouTube. Follow my socials, my Instagram, TikTok, Twitch, and Discord down below in the description. And let's talk about SmackDown. Now, SmackDown was an average show, and I give it a 6.5. All right. WWE SmackDown kicks off with Roman Reigns, Paul Heyman, Jimmy Uso, and Solo Sokolia walking down to the ring. Roman Reigns tells Washington, D.C. to acknowledge him. We hear Cody's music and out, and out comes Cody Rose to the ring. The fans chant Cody as he says, contrary, con, contrary to what Paul Heyman might have told him, he is not here to invade. He is here to have a conversation with with his resume opponent, one on one, man to man. He doesn't see why he doesn't see any reason of his complaint comparing to be to be there unless Roman Reigns feels like he needs them there with him. Roman Reigns laughs as as he tells Paul Heyman to leave them that leave him and that Solo and Jimmy go too. Roman Reigns asks Cody if that makes him more comfortable. Roman Reigns says he might not like it, but he will do it anyways. He throws both titles belts in onto the mat between himself and Cody. Roman Reigns asks Cody what he wants to talk about, and Cody smirks. Cody tells him, fair enough, let's talk about Roman Reigns. 915 days. He has been their Dodo Universal Undisputed Champion. No need to point the no no need to print the legend. The reality has become legendary enough. He congratulates Roman Reigns. Cody Rhodes tells Roman Reigns that if some if some Roman Reigns has been has become this impossible mountain to climb, but that is kind of Cody's thing. He can be more than Randy's understudy. He won't survive Stardust. 10,000 people would not buy tickets to his to his and his buddy and die a show. For everyone else, Roman Reigns might be impossible, but but not for him. The fan chant Cody. Roman Reigns laughs and says that was good. Like he has been rehearsing Harrison that all week. Um, it was fair, flawless. Um, well, Roman Reigns points to one of the belts and asks him if he, he ever won that one. Won that one? He asks Cody if he has ever compete for compete for one of them. Roman Reigns asks Cody if he has ever beat in the main event of WrestleMania before, because he has done all of that. That means he is the most experienced main event of all time. But the kicker is that he has been groomed since he was a little boy. Not only by Roman Reigns' dad, but his, but his father too. Roman Reigns says he wants to talk about Cody's dad. He has too much love and respect for his dad that de de to degrade him. That they spent a lot of time together. He said this many times before. The dream is the one that put the confidence in high. Roman Reigns tries to impersonate the dream as the fans clap. Roman Reigns says they will talk for hours about everything. It was a it was a lot about right now. His life. He would talk about being the guy. The the face of the company. He says dreams dream he he says dream called it all before. He says the dream was the best. Roman Reigns says the dream never spoke never spoke about Cody, not in front of him. Maybe in front of Seth, Kevin Owens or Becky Lynch, but not in front of him. Roman Reigns says this is a lot, but he wishes the dream was here right now. Roman Reigns says he knew Cody missed him. He missed him too. Roman Reigns picks his two his two belts back up. He says he knows 
he isn't here anymore, but to know this, if there is anything he didn't teach Cody, Roman, Roman will. Roman extends his hand for a handshake. Cody looks at him and tells Roman he is not even playing on the same field. Cody says this is not chess. Roman didn't send Paul Heyman to Raw to get inside his head. He sent Heyman to relay and convey the real life situation. He sent Paul Heyman to tell him the truth. Cody says if that is the truth, then Roman is the son he always wanted. And the change change changes everything. It's not just a dream or or a want or a desire or some story that needs to be uh, needs to be finished. This becomes a necessity to necessity. The only way he can he can exist is by beating him at WrestleMania thirty nine. Cody Rhodes tells Roman Reigns made the better man win, and they both shake hands as Roman Reigns walks away. So we go to commercial break. Now, th now this promo right here was good. This was a good promo, but at the same time, it felt rushed. That's all I gotta say. So we get Rhea Ripley, accompanied by Dominic Mysterio versus Liv Morgan. Now this match was um, it was it was just you know. You know, solid, solid match. The bell rings, and we are underway. A drop kick by Liv Morgan and Rhea Ripley in the corner. Liv Morgan with a with right hands. She goes for a jumping DDT, but Rhea catches her and drops her face first onto the mat. A running knee to the face by Rhea. Right hands by Rhea as she throws Liv in the corner. Rhea goes for a spear, but Liv. Moves out of the way. Liv with a running knee. She climbs the second rope and a drop kick onto Rhea, who falls to the outside of the ring. Liv to the ropes. She goes for a suicide dive, but Rhea Ripley moves out of the way. So we go to commercial break. Back from commercial, Liv with a meteor off the second rope. She goes for the cover, but Rhea kicks out. She goes for the oblivion. Rhea catches her. She goes for the reptile. Um, Liv Morgan lands on, lands on her feet in a kick to the side of the head. Liv Morgan climbs the ropes and jumps and jumps for Rhea Ripley, slams her onto the mat. Rhea Ripley hits her with the rip tie. She gets Liv into the gets to an inverted inverted club relief and Liv Morgan taps out. The winner of the match, um, yeah, the winner of the match, Rhea Ripley. This was a this was a solid match. So we go to commercial break. The Bloodline are backstage, and Roman Reigns asks Jimmy if he's spoken to Jay Uso. Jimmy tells him Jay is not here. He he is not. He is a high head and needs some time. Roman Reigns asks him how much. Jimmy says he spoke to him this morning, and he was better today than he was yesterday and the day before. Roman Reigns says he is running out of patience. Jimmy says he'll tell he'll tell him. Uh, we cut to Dominic and Rhea Ripley walking backstage. They bump into Santos Escobar. He tells Dominic Mysterio Ray should have punched him in the face last week, but he knows that he he couldn't. But Santos Escobar says he can, and if Dominic Mysterio is half the man he says he is. He will need him in the ring, man to man. He looks he he looks at Rhea Ripley and blow a kiss. So we go to commercial break. So we get Santos Escobar versus Dominic Mysterio accompanied by Rhea Ripley. Um, this was a decent match. Santos Escobar walks down to the ring with Ray's mask. He placed the mask on the top of the ring post. The bell rings and we are underway. Dominic Mysterio with a drop kick followed by a headlock. Santos Escobar throws Dominic Mysterio to the ropes and he hits Dominic Mysterio with a drop kick. Forearms to the face by Santos Escobar. He grabs Dominic Mysterio by the head and makes him look at Rey Mysterio's mask by telling him that is his legacy. Dominic Mysterio spits on the mask as Santos Escobar slams Dominic Mysterio into the mat. 
Santos Escobar with a Mexican surfboard as he let as he lets go of the hold. Dominic Mysterio grabs Santos Escobar and pushes him onto the middle turnbuckle, and Santos Escobar rolls to the outside. Dominic Mysterio with a splash over the top rope onto Santos Escobar. So we go to commercial break. Back from commercial break, Dominic Mysterio with right hands. He lifts Dominic Mysterio up, but Dominic Mysterio lands on his face and in a rake to the eyes. Dominic Mysterio with a close eye onto Santos Escobar. He throws Santos Escobar in the corner and gets him to look at Rey Mysterio's mask. Dominic, Dominic Mysterio tells him to respect him. Dominic Mysterio runs to the ropes, but Santos Escobar with a flying forearm. A close line by Santos Escobar followed by a leg drop. He goes for the cover, but Dominic Mysterio kicks out. Santos Escobar runs to the ropes, as, as does Dominic Mysterio in a double collusion Double collision in the middle of the ring. Dominic Mysterio takes out a brass knuckles and distracts the referee. As Ray Ruby grabs Santos Escobar to the outside and hits him with the rib tie. She throws Santos Escobar back into the ring. Dominic Mysterio climbs the top rope at the clown. Dominic Mysterio climbs the top the top rope and he hits him with the frost splash. He goes for the cover and gets the pin. The winner of the match, Dominic Mysterio. Of course, Ray Ripley is going to have Dominic Mysterio. That's all I got to say. But the match itself was decent. Dominic Mysterio grabs Ray's, Ray Mysterio's mask and rips it. Out comes Ray Mysterio as Dominic Mysterio and Ray Ripley are watching, are, are walking back. Uh, Ray, Myster Ray Mysterio shakes his head. Dominic Mysterio tells Ray Mysterio to hit him and he and he give him the, his mask. Dominic Dominic Mysterio drops drops the mask onto the floor. Uh, Ray Mysterio goes to pick it up, but Dominic Mysterio hits him with their right hand. So we go to commercial break. Man, I was me and Show Summer TV was ready was waiting for Ray Mysterio to hit Dominic Mysterio, but but you know, but Ray Mysterio did not hit Dominic Mysterio. So that's setting up a match at WrestleMania. Uh, uh, hopefully that that will happen. But anyway, let's move on. Alright, so we go to commercial break. Drew McIntyre walks to the ring. He said he says it's four weeks until WrestleMania 39, and he still doesn't have a match. But they can re remain remain that right now. There is someone he wants to beat up. Drew looks at the camera and says, Gunther, I am, I'm calling you out. Out comes Sheamus. He asks Drew what he is do what he is doing. He is doing. He is going to go behind his back. Drew says this is. Drew. Drew says this is nothing's personal. Sheamus says it is personal. He should know how much the Intercontinental Title means to him. Drew tells him to calm down. Sheamus says, not to tell him to calm down. Drew says, says he did. He doesn't have to ask his permission. He isn't his parent. Seamus says that's that is right. He is not his parent, but he he thought he was his brother, but he isn't. He just a backstabber, you know what? Drew McIntyre says fans tell the truth. Drew McIntyre says Seamus had 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 his chance and lost twice. Out comes LA Knight, who who says, Let me talk to you. Someone is talking about the Intercontinental title that got to be taken talking about LA Knight's year. Yeah. Um, meanwhile, Drew and Sheamus keeps getting handed every opportunity and keeps crying. Um, LA Knight says you can't have a LA WrestleMania without LA Knight. Out, out comes the new day. They say they said that. They are out here to apologize on behalf of LA Knight. Kofi says because for the past two weeks he comes out crying, saying he can't have a resume without have a resume in LA without LA Knight. They say that it's sad as the new day get in the ring. Xavier Wood says LA Knight wants to have a match at resume thirty nine, but as of late L.A. Knight can't even win a match on SmackDown. Out comes Karrion Cross with Scarlett. L.A. Knight attacks Kofi from behind. 
He grabs Xavier Woods and throws him to the outside. L.A. Knight turns around and Sheamus clotheslines him to the outside of the ring. Sheamus turns around and Drew is in his face. Drew backs up as he runs and lands a set time on the New Day and L.A. Knight. Karen Cross grabs Sheamus and throws him shoulder first into the ring post. So go to commercial break. So Drew McIntyre is gonna win the fatal five way match. I'm calling the I'm calling the straight down the bill next week that Drew McIntyre is going to win that match and he's going to face Gunther. Now now I'm I'm now I'm excited for that. But anyway, so we go to commercial break. So we get Shayna Baszler accompanied by Ronda Rousey versus Tegan Knox accompanied by Natalia. Now Tegan now Tegan Knox lost this match in four minutes, and um, this was a squash match. The bell rings and we are underway. A drop kick by Tegan Knox followed by followed by a kick to the face. Tegan Knox with a kick to the head. She goes for a knee to the face, but Shayna Baszler slams her onto the mat. Shayna Baszler slumps on Tegan's arm. Shayna kicks Shayna with kicks onto Tegan's right arm. She she grabs Tegan Knox, but Tegan Knox with a with a kick to the head. She she grabs Shayna Shayna but Shayna with an arm bar, and she slams Tegan Knox onto the mat. Shayna with a knee to the face. She grabs Tegan Knox right arm and gets an arm bar as Tegan Knox taps out. The winner of the match, Shayna Baszler. This was a squash match, but Tegan Knox lost to lost to Shayna Baszler in four minutes. All right, let's move on. Back uh, okay. Caleb Braxton is backstage with Gunther and in in the period. He tells her it's disgrace like it's it's disgrace that a man like him is keep waiting. They are they are one month out and Adam Pierce has yet to announce his opponent for WrestleMania. Gunther says the only thing he is concerned about is not having a worthy opponent to battle at WrestleMania thirty nine. Now that now Gunther is a real Intercontinental Champion. I like Gunther. But my dream match will be Gunther versus Brock Lesnar for the Intercontinental Champion. I would love to see that. You know what I'm saying? If I, like I said, Drew McIntyre is gonna win the Fatal Five Way match. I, I I can guarantee you. We're about to get Drew McIntyre versus Gunther for the Intercontinental Champion. I guarantee you that's gonna happen at WrestleMania 39. Anyway, out comes Bobby Lashley to the ring. Now this promo was oh, oh my goodness, that's just ridiculous. Uh, what? Yeah, that promo was ridiculous. So out comes Bobby Lashley to the ring. Commercial break. Bobby Lashley says for the for the last two weeks, Bray Wyatt has been telling him to run, but he doesn't run from anyone. And since that didn't work, Bray Wyatt starts to play his little kid games. Bobby Lashley says it was a little commercial, but for him, that that's a sign of weaknesses, and where it comes from it. If you know, if you ha if you have a problem with someone, you can c you can come out and see them in their face. And since Bray Wyatt is a, is a man enough to do that, Bobby Lashley comes come to his show on SmackDown to see him. Bobby Lashley tells Bray Wyatt if he is a man, if he is man enough to come to come see him. Cryptic, cryptic music plays as Bobby Lashley look at. The Tron. Uncle Howdy attacks Lashley from behind. Uncle Howdy runs to the ropes, but Lashley slams him onto the onto the mat. Bobby Lashley goes for a spear, but the lights go out. They they came back, and Lashley is standing alone in the ring. Now what? Now now, now what was that? That that was it. So that 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 was just that was just awful right there. That's awful. Um, we cut backstage to the bloodline. Jimmy Uso tells Ron Reigns he spoke to Jay Uso, and Jay Uso told him he he needs a little bit more time. He actually he actually what he really said was to leave him leave him alone. Ron Reigns says after everything they did for him, Ron Reigns says this doesn't start happening until Sami Zayn comes around. Maybe that is where he got selfish. Ron Reigns says. He is going to fix this. Sami Zayn's to fix this. Sami Zayn's problem. He tells Jimmy Uso he wants him out there with Solo Sequoia and to get rid of him. 
He tells Jimmy Uso if he gets rid of Sami Zayn, Jay Uso will come home. Jimmy Uso says he got him as Roman tells him to do it for the bloodline, for their family. Paul Heyman tells Roman that was wonderful, but Roman is not happy. He says Jay Uso has one week. If Jay is if Jay is not back in back in the bloodline in one week, he is going to blame. He's going to blame Sam. He is not going to blame Sam Zayn. He is going to blame Jimmy Uso. So, um, so Jay Uso has one week to come back. If not, Roman Reigns is going to blame it, blame it on Jimmy Uso. I believe that WrestleMania thirty nine, in my head, that that Jay Uso is going to cause Roman Reigns, Roman Reigns to match up, but I could be wrong. Maybe I'm just overthinking, but, I, but I'm just predicting that. Or maybe Jay Uso is going to come back and join the Bloodline. Okay, so we go to commercial break. So we get the main event of the evening. So Sequoia accompanied by Jimmy Uso versus Sami Zayn. Now this main event right here was it was it was just there. I must say it was just there. So it must be it was just okay for what it was. Um so Sequoia is in the ring and Sami Zayn runs to the ring. They fight and in comes Jimmy, um, Jimmy Uso as Sami Zayn throws him to the outside of the ring. So Sequoia runs towards Sami Zayn, but Sami Zayn lowers the top rope and Solo Sequoia to, to the outside of the ring. Solo Sequoia get, get, gets back in the ring. The bell rings and we are underway. Solo Sequoia with the nail bolt to the face. Solo Sequoia throws Sami Zayn to the ropes, but Sami Zayn comes back with a clothesline. And Solo Sequoia over the top rope and to, and to the outside. Sami Zayn to the outside, and he is face to face with Jimmy Uso. He turns around and Solo Sequoia with a splash. He throws Sami Zayn into the ring post. Solo Sequoia throws Sami Zayn into the timekeeper's area. So we go to commercial break. Bathroom commercial. Solo Sequoia with the with the headbutt onto Sami Zayn in the ring. He throws Sami Zayn to the ropes, but Sami Zayn with a clothesline. Sami Zayn with with a right hand, but Sami Zayn runs to the ropes. But Solo Sequoia with a Samoan drop. Sami Zayn, Sami Zayn in the in the corner. Solo Sequoia runs towards Sami Zayn and he slams into into Sami Zayn. He places Sami Zayn on the top rope, but Sami Zayn with a right hand and and kicks to the face. Sami Zayn with a tornado DT off the second rope. He goes for the cover, but Solo Sequoia kicks out. Sami Zayn climb, climbs the top rope in a cross body off the top rope. He goes for the cover, but Sol Sequoia kicks out. Sami Zayn goes for goes goes for the blue Donna bomb, but he can't li- he but he can't pick up Sol Sequoia. He can't pick Sol Sequoia up. Sol Sequoia with right hands and right hands he goes for a splash onto Sami Zayn, but Sami Zayn moves out of the way. Sami Zayn hits him with a blue Donna bomb. He goes. He goes for the cover, but Solo Sequoia kicks out. Sami Zayn goes for the Haluba kick, but Jimmy Uso moves Solo Sequoia out the way. Solo Sequoia hits him with the Samoa spike. He goes for the cover and gets the pin. The winner of the match, Solo Sequoia, the match was okay. Now, here's one thing I did not like, but I'm about to read this to you. Jimmy and Solo Sequoia with, with right hands on two Sami Zayn after the match. Solo Sequoia grabs a steel chair. From the outside of the ring. Jimmy Uso with right hands onto Sami Zayn in the corner. Jimmy Uso with a kick to the face. He placed Sami Zayn's head in the, in between the chair. So Sequoia about to run, but Sam, but Jimmy Uso stops him. Jimmy Uso says he wants to do it. Sami Zayn gets up and throws the chair onto So Sequoia. Sami Zayn, Sami Zayn hits Jimmy Uso with the Huluva kick. Sami Zayn grabs the chair as Solo Sequoia gets back up. Sami Zayn throws the chair onto Solo Sequoia and he leaves the ring. Jimmy Uso and Solo Sequoia stand and stand in the ring as Sami Zayn jumps jumps the barricade. We cut we cut backstage to Roman Reigns and Paul Heyman watch watching and Roman Reigns is not too happy. So Roman Reigns was pissed off backstage, but the I did not like the ending. And that's all I gotta say. So I did not like the ending. And SmackDown goes off the air.
But like I said, but like I mentioned early beginning of my like like I mentioned early beginning of my video, I was gonna get SmackDown on seven point five, but but what I just saw on SmackDown, I did not like the ending. So SmackDown gets a six point five, and that's all I gotta say. SmackDown now SmackDown was an average show, and it gets a six point five, and that's all I gotta say. But I'm just ready for WrestleMania thirty nine, and that's all I gotta say from here. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed my WWE SmackDown review on highlights, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below on what are your thoughts on SmackDown because SmackDown was a 6.5 average show. And that's all I got to say from here. But anyway, if you guys are new to the channel, um, make sure you guys please hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys please hit that subscribe button. Turn on post notifications to get notified when I go live on YouTube while I premiere a brand new video. Um, follow my socials. My um, Instagram, TikTok, Twitch, and Discord down below in the description. And tomorrow, if I don't have nothing to do, I will go live for you guys on YouTube. And that's all I got to say. So if I don't have nothing to do tomorrow, I will go live on YouTube. But anyway, I want you guys to have a great night. Stay safe and always stay positive. Oh, if you guys if, if you guys are wrestling fans, make sure you guys join my Discord. And um, go give me a follow over there on Twitch as well. And that's all I got to say from here. But anyway, this is your boy B-Boy Fast Show TV. Have a great night. Stay safe and always um, stay positive. Love yourself and who you are. And um, that's all I got to say from here. It's all about the good vibes. Um, this is your boy B-Boy Fast Show TV. Kept your crew. Kept your kings. Too sweet. I'm out of here. Gang.